Hi guys, I'm sure you all know that you can get Kodi on Xbox now. So I want to show you a few things. How to do external storage if you don't have room on your device. And some add-ons that are working really great with it. So first I'm going to go plug it in. You can get one terabyte, two terabytes. This one's four terabytes. So I can get more games and then I can load Kodi. Um, and not worry about storage. So first you have to turn on your box and then you want to plug it in. So I plugged it in right to the front. There's a USB port there and then you get this pop-up message. So what you need to do is scroll over to format storage device and you can call it anything you want. So you can choose to install new things here or keep current location. So that's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to do new things here and then go over to format storage device. Okay, so let's go head over to the store to get Cody. Scroll down here to search and type it in. There it is up there. Click on it and click install. Then we're going to put in some add-ons so it'll be a little more. So if you don't have room on your drive, the external storage is a great idea. Okay, so you can just hold down the home button to launch. And there's Cody on the Xbox. How nice is that? So this is version 18. This is Leia, but this is an alpha. So you may experience some problems with bugs and crashes. So just so you're aware, they should be coming out with a stable version, maybe late February. So until then, you may experience some issues. So let's go get some add-ons that work with 18. They don't all work, but these do. So you want to go up to this gear at the top. Then you select File Manager. Scroll down to Add Source. Click in the box that says None. And now you're going to type in the address HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Jesus box. repo dot xyz forward slash repo okay so just make sure you have the spelling correctly and scroll over to hit OK then scroll down into this box and click and you need to name it and you can name this anything you want. I do a dot so it comes up at the front. So I'm just going to do JBox repo. You can do anything you like. Scroll over up to OK. Now you can scroll down one and hit OK. And if you see it pop up there you did it right. So now you're going to hit back and scroll down to add-ons and then you want to scroll up to this box here and click and down to install from zip file so this will prompt you to change your settings scroll over to settings and you want to allow unknown sources and you get this pop-up gives you a warning if you agree you hit yes 
show notifications. Okay, so you can hit back and up again to the file box. Install from zip file. Click on the file you named and you want to scroll down to the repository zip. Click there and then you'll get a pop-up. There you go. Now scroll up one, install from repository. And you want to click Jesus Box Repository and go down to Video Add-ons. Okay, so there's a bunch in here. Um, you don't need all of them. You may only need one of them, so it's up to you. I'm going to grab three. The Genesis Reborn. Install. So then it's going to tell you everything that it needs to work and it's going to install all of those things. So you scroll over to the side and you hit OK. Then you'll see it's downloading and there it is installed already. OK, next FlixNet is good. You want to click on that and click install. Scroll over to the side, hit OK. And now that's downloading. Okay, get the pop up and we can grab Showbox Arise. Click install and scroll over to OK. So you can test these out and see which ones you like the best. And you can always uninstall the ones that you're not going to use. Okay, so we've got all three of those installed. So we're going to hit back. And there they are. So it's under video add-ons. If you're in your main screen, they'll be right here under add-ons. So let's open up Genesis Reborn. Okay, so there's movies, TV shows, and then these are for Tracked if you have a Tracked account. Um, new movies, new TV shows, channels, tools, search and they have a Facebook group. So let's go into tools for a second. So not everything is ready to go on here. So it looks like you cannot add any accounts right now. This isn't the complete version of 18, so they'll need to add that. So let's just see how the movies work. Let's go into new movies. Okay, so you can also change the view by just scrolling over to the side here. And there's a wide list, a wall list. So here's the wall list. You can look at it this way. Fan art. Not my favorite. List. And this will give you a description on a side and artwork on the other side. So it's however you like looking at it. Poster, give you this kind of a list. So that's all preference, however you like it. I think this one's pretty cool. All right, let's give Dunkirk a try. So what it's doing is scraping and you can see the kind of links it's pulling up. It's got a bunch of 1080s, bunch of 720s. And a bunch of SD. Okay, so when it's done scraping, it'll pull up your choices. So we've got four 1080s here. Let's give that a try. I can't play the movie for you, but I'm going to show you that it's going to work.
Okay, it does work. So to press pause, you just hit the A button. You can use the button on your controller with the three lines. That'll give you information. And the one next to that brings up some controls and settings. You can bookmark. You can put on subtitles and different settings here. You can forward, go back. It looks great. So I'm going to stop it. And that was really good. Okay. So that's Genesis Reborn. Let's look at FlixNet. In this one, go into movies. People watching. There's a lot of categories you can choose from. I usually go here. So this is how the list comes up. If you want to change it, don't forget, go to the side. You can do shift also on this one. That's pretty cool. Some are missing their artwork. Well, let's try the same one, Dunkirk. probably going to pull the same sources probably scrapes the same way yeah so it doesn't really matter which one you use it's just a matter of which one you like the menus on better so that's going to do the same thing so I'm going to back out you just hit back so if you like this layout better than Genesis Reborn, then use that one, and then there's Showbox Arise. And this one's very simple. Movies, TV shows, tools, and search. So if you like something very simple, this one's very simple. Most popular. Try the wall this time. So these are the most popular movies. So you'll see some new ones, some older ones. Let's try Baby Driver. This one is not showing you how many. And that just pulls up one link. And it says no stream available. So I don't know if Showbox is working. So if you find something not working or you don't like it, you just long press on X and you click information and you can click uninstall. Go over to yes, and yes again, and that'll take it out. So let me show you how you can add favorites. If you look down here, there's favorites. So you just go into the add-on, either one. Go into the movies or TV shows. When you have a movie highlighted, just hold down the X button and you can do add to favorites down at the bottom. Hold down X, add to favorites. All right, so I'm gonna back out. You could do the same with TV shows. Hold down X, 
add to favorites. All right, so let's head back. Let's go down to favorites. And there you go. This one's not showing a thumbnail. So to remove, hold down X and remove. So you can put all the things you want to watch into your favorites. That's a very nice feature. Works with both of these add-ons. All right, so there you go. I mean, you don't need that many. These two, it's good to have two, I guess. One for a backup. So right now, these are the best ones that work in Kodi 18. Um, everyone will be doing their updates, I'm sure, when it gets closer. So at least you can get things running and working on your Xbox, and you can enjoy a little taste of Kodi. I wouldn't recommend doing a build as they can make it run slower and take up a lot of storage. Um, we'll see what happens when everything's, there's not a lot of things out right now. I'll test that out when everything's all set and maybe they'll make some light builds for it, we'll see. So of course, hit the bell and subscribe and I will bring you any updates that I find out about. Enjoy your gaming and your streaming and I'll see you guys soon.